This spell this spells the thing. Spells do not have to be complicated and they do not have to involve expensive equipment. The real magic is weaving sp the real magic in weaving spells comes from within. Open once a learner has come to understand how magic energy works and has learned how to cast spells, he or she will find an increasing ability to tap into the inner powers and that and that the props become less important, although they they are still used in crafting spells. There are two ways to craft spells. The first is to make an existing spell, such as the ones we are going to describe later in this book, and change it to suit the individual's need. As already said, if a spell says that a certain flower is used, a, a specific essential oil is included, or suggest a particular altar decoration, and, and the spell maker knows from his or her own experience that another one works better for them, then it is right, right that they use their own preferences. Similarly, incantations and chants can be rewarded, deities can be included or not. In fact, in magic, as in so much of life, nothing is carved in stone. The second way is to create a new spell from scratch. This is usually done when a situation presents itself when an experienced magic maker believes can be beneficially influenced by weaving a spell but is unable to find an appropriate one in his or her book of shadows. Then, one, then what else is there to do but make a new one? The first thing to do is to research the magic correspondences to establish when the spell should be cast and what are uh, are the most suitable colors, herbs, oil, crystals, and other ingredients. The more magical correspondences that are considered and included, the more powerful the magic will be. The correspondences established, the, ne the, the next thing to do is to write a suitable incantation that states the need and de or desire quite clearly. Invocations may, if the magic wish maker wishes to call upon a deity to bless this spell, they can, they can be a few simple words or they can be elaborate poetry. Rhyming incantations are traditional. To bind the spell every time, let the spell be spiked in rhyme. It is the advice given by Lady Gwendolyn Thompson, an experienced and highly ex respected Wiccan. Many newcomers are embarrassed that their attempts at creating suitable rhyming, rhyming incantations result in in something that is little more than dog, doggerel. They, they need to not, not be. As long as the intention of the spell is clearly stated, that that is all that is required. No one expects an effort worthy of the poet laureate. The last thing to do is to work out the appropriate time for the spell to be cast. The day of the week 
may be important. And the phases of the moon it definitely will be. The position of the planets may need to be considered, as well as the ruling astrolog astrolog astrological sign. All these things done, all the ingredients gathered together and suitably co consecrated, it is time to relax in a war warming scented bath. Don the clothes selected for the ritual and start to weave spells. One of the most frequent asked questions about making magic is, how long does it take for a spell to work? There is no precise answer to this. All magic makers are different. They have their individual strengths and weaknesses that will it will influence the outcome of casting a spell. What may work in a day or two for one magic maker might take a week or two for another. But if, if a known spell is cast according to the precise instructions and is cast during the most favorable phase of the moon and the right planetary hour, if all correspondences have been carefully planned and if the spell weaver's will and visualization skills are strong, then the results of a spell may be felt anywhere from almost immediately to within a complete lunar cycle, 28 days. Experienced magic makers believe that around two weeks is the average time it takes for a spell to work, but some spells can take much longer than this. One well-known Wiccan has a spell in her grimoire that takes a year and a day to work. Also, some spells may have to be cast more than once before they work. Uh, as with so much in life, practice makes perfect and always remember that patience is a virtue. Beginners in the art of making magic often wonder if a spell can be made to work every time. In a word, no. There are so many factors involved in successful magic making. See above. That, that if one is, one is even slightly off the spell's weaver's concentration, wanderers, who wonders if energy levels are below direction, below normal, and if another believer in magic has cast bad magic in your direction, then there is a fair chance that your spells will not work. In his musical nymph, magic in your direction, in his musical nymph, Aren't the incomparable Cole Porter penned a song called uh, song called Experiment Novice Spellcasters can do no better than to follow suit. They should try different spells until they find a formula that works for them. And if they persevere then they will find that, that, that the day will come when everything comes together and successful magic is made. Most magic makers find that spells they cast for their own benefit or for the good of someone they are closely involved with work best and more quickly than others. The reason for this is probably that such spells Concerned issues about which the spell weaver feels strongly 
and he or she is probably more focused and has more magic energy than when making making their own, their magic. Spells found in another's book of shadows may well be less powerful than spells that that are self self that are self created. When you use someone else's spells, you are merging your energies with those of whoever created the spells, and the energies of one magic maker may be completely incompatible with those of another. If this is the case, then no matter how often an attempt is made to cast that person's spell, it simply won't work, or if it does, the potency of spells will be diluted. Some would-be spell casters are concerned with that magic is contradictory to Christian belief. They can be reassured that this is not the case. In fact, magic and the Christian faith have several things in common. Prescribed prayers are in, in effect in effect incantations. They the, the the cross could be considered to be an amulet. Many of the saints respected the, by Christians were pagan in origin, and many Christian festivals have their roots in pagan festivals. In the Middle Ages, in the Middle Ages, when witch hunting was common, many Christians worked spells in the name of Jesus and wore talismans to protect them from evil. And the miracles worked by Je by Jesus could be interrupted as magic. So any doubts about ma about making magic being anti Christian can be dispelled. Another worry is that one ca that once cast a spell cannot be reversed. This is not so. Most of it. Most, if not all, spells can be reversed if the right technique is used. One of these is to repeat the spell in reverse fashion, saying any incantations backwards. Another method is to cast a spell breaker, which can also be used to reverse the magic of others. Although this requires much more energy, than reversing one's own spells. One common spell breaker involves candle magic. It, it works best when Aries or Scorpio are ruling the, and should be cast when the moon is waning. Once the circle has been cast and the elements in, invoked, which is necessary in spell breaking, Light suitably coloured altar candles and burn appropriate incense. Now anoint a purple candle, a seven knob one works best. Then uh, th th there is special oils easily obtained from special shops for this purpose. They include chili pepper, cyclamine, geranium, juniper and mimosa oils, as well as the more exotic flying devil oil, jinx removing oil, and spell breaker oil. And other specially prepared concoctions, now light the candle and, and focusing on the flame, say whichever of these incantations is more suitable. If someone else has directed the spell towards you, say, Mystic powers of wax and flame, let the spell, spell be now reversed. Remove its power from my path, and let, and let its sender know, know, know so first. 
if if it is one of your own spells that you wish to reverse, say, the spell I cast be broken, let, let it weaken by the hour. May things return to what they were before I worked my power. And if, and if harm none, so much to be, and it harm none, so much to be. The old saying that the only way to bring a spell to an end is to cast another spell is not necessarily true. Few spells cast are permanent. Most have to be recast regularly to, re to maintain this, their magic power. And if this is not done, then the spell's effects will gradually wear off. May your magic making be successful, and, and as it harm none, so be it. Thank you for another.